Hello everyone, this is Michelle the Stamp Burger and I thought I would make a layout share video today and show you what I've been working on the last few months. So I've started making a couple of 8x8 eight eight layouts. This is my grand puppy, Maisie, and these are both using the um, Paige Evans collection. Now I can't remember what it's called. but it's the same collection and these layouts look completely different because I took the colors out of this photo to make this layout and so I didn't use any of the hot pink, the bright pink, uh, or these, or any of the other colors. So anyway, I have two layouts made and um, I did use some things from Keep It Simple, like this shaker frame, um, favorite pick, and then this two different alphabets, and then a scrap and happy flare. Also have a flare over here. So um, I just need to get the dates on here. Here she is a puppy and obviously she's grown here. Okay. Let me put that over here. Now, I apologize if any of these layouts were in any videos prior, um, like a previous layout share, because um, I don't remember. So this is one where I used the Floral Baby collection from Keep It Simple, and then I added some flare, probably from Echo Park, the flatback flare. This is a die right here. This doily die is from Close to My Heart. I did some stitching along here. And I think it turned out cute. This is my daughter and me. And then this is a layout I made of my son's cat, um, Freddie. And I just think this alphabet from Keep It Simple is so fun. So, and also the papers are from Max and Daisy from Keep It Simple. Let's see, and I used a few sprinkles. They have a lot of sprinkles for shaker pockets, but these little paw prints worked really well as like scattering instead of enamel dots. Here's the same collection, and I um, made a layout about Mr. Finley. So, um, there we go. This is before the shaker dies came out, and so I just used a frame die from somewhere else. This is also the same collection. I probably have shown these before. Here are some more of those sprinkles various ones and then here I'm making my own flare with the uh, epoxy flares you can buy off of Amazon this little fire hydrant is a die from keep it simple um, here I made another flare and I use some more of those sprinkles sprinkles and more sprinkles and then here I used an alphabet from um, a stamp and then the die and I made these into like thickers with about four layers. I love how I made the little brown round clay and to look like little kibble. And actually, oops, this is a two page layout. Let me move this. So it actually says Playtime with Daddy, and there's a video here that I need to add the QR code to this layout. I made some more flare. Well, I have three, if you look. One, two, three. And then here, I actually cut the yellow paper, die cut it, and then I stamped the matching stamp set in, uh, in the um, what would you call it? The negative space? And I used some 
washi tape that matches the collection. That I love this um, collection. It's nice cardabella like cardstock. It's got texture. It's heavy, and it's such fun colors. It's um, kind of on clearance on the website. There's some of it left and some of it not, but it's like half price. Now this is a brand new collection. I it's called Nuts About You, and I can't remember, did I, yes, I did. I made a video for this, and I made my own wood grain paper, and so if you want to see how I made that with a white sheet of cardstock, um, go check out the video. It's not too many far back. I love hexagons, and this was actually a sketch that Brandy Joe created. Um, looks like I need a little bit more glue here. Got to remember that. Um, this one was also using that Paige Evans collection, and I did not. So these photos are pre digital, and so what I did here is I used some really old photo corners from Heidi Swap. And this photo is not glued down so it can be pulled up there's not glue under this acrylic title and I used a whole package of these blue crochet flowers I was really proud of myself um, yeah okay I guess I've been on a kick of my daughter and my dad here is another layout I made this is with a Close My Heart collection, and I think I'm supposed to put the journaling on here. Who forgets it or thinks they're going to get the journaling done, but you go back and it's not done. Um, a couple more flare from Scrap and Happy Studio. This is an eyelet 3D embossing folder from Stamping Up. Um, the... The eggs are a stamp from Keep It Simple. I think also this bunny, but then these flowers are from Close to My Heart. And I use some um, watercolor technique where I um, take some of the ink from my ink pad and then paint the stamped image with a water brush. It makes for easy stamping, easy coloring. And then I was doing really good with Through the Rain, not Through the Rainbow, Through the Seasons with Jeannie Linguini. And kind of have gotten where I haven't been working on it very much. But this is a layout that I completed. And um, it was kind of a base page. It already had the blue and the red. And then the star was already made. It's all close to my heart paper. So I um, finished it. Just need to add the journaling. Here is another layout I made. This is one that uses uh, stars and stripes from Keep It Simple. And I added in some tile stickers from somewhere. And I think there's more tile stickers. And then this. Does anyone remember this? Um, I don't know what it was, but I found it. And um, oh, and look at all the brads I need to cover. There was a lot of brads on here. All of these red hearts were brads. Brads, brads, brads. And then this was a sketch that Sarah Scraps created over at Rediscover Your Stash. And I used more stars and stripes, and I used the stamp collection. They have gnomes. I did some stenciling with some texture paste, and yeah, more photos of Finley. And then this is that same Paige Evans collection, and I'm not crazy about this layout. This was to celebrate Scrappy Kathy's. Uh, YouTube channel hitting 2,000 subscribers and I took one of her sketches and scrap lifted her. She used this exact same paper. I guess that's kind of why I ended up pulling out this Paige Evans collection is 
because um, I'm going to scrap with this layout of hers. But she has more white space, and I think that it worked out better. Hers is definitely better than mine, but it's done, right? This is a recent one that has a video too, and this is for Stamp It Like It's Hot. This is a back to school layout of my son, and I did random stamping here with the stamp set from Keep It Simple. This, um, this collection is called Love to Learn, and um, this is actually what my son said that morning, and so I typed it up. I get to see my friends. I get to go to lunch early and I get brownies when I come home. This is back when he still did not like school. Um, and I did the uh, reverse stamping where I reversed the stamp, stamped it, and then I stamped the actual image on top of it, and that was an easy way to color. So now let me get to the layouts I'm about to mail off to keep it simple. All right, here we go. So here is a layout using the brand new um, Halloween collection. And I can't think of what it's called, but isn't it cute? Cute, cute, cute. Uh, happy horizontal turned on its side basically and I made some more of the um, my own epoxy flares because keep it simple is we have one inch embellishments that I cut with my one inch hole punch and then I'm able to put the epoxy on top and then here's another one using the same collection and I made more flare. This time I put a little bit of black um, thread underneath and I did three. This is another one I made for Keep It Simple. This is the one that broke my elbow. <laughs> I laugh, I joke, but there was so much die cutting every um, tag was die cut, the frames were die cut, the flowers were all die cut except for these that have the circle around them. They are actually in our Back to Basics cardstock. I die cut all of the um, letters and I guess this isn't really that much to die cut, but I die cut a whole bunch more tags because I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it, so now I have extras. Then this is a brand new one that is with our new um, Here Comes Santa Claus collection. I'm not sure it's even out yet, but I used the new shaker tag. We have all kinds of sprinkles. I made more epoxy flares here and here. And um, I used their page titles here to make an easy page title. And then I also used, this is another one that is left to learn, and I used the rectangle die. Let me get real close up. And it's a uh, stitched nested rectangle die, and this is the smallest, and I just used a herringbone. I really like this color green in this collection, and so I pulled out, I believe that's peacock that I used to accent it. And I made more thicker homemade letters with one of their um, stamp and die cuts. I love that one. It's called Belle. And then here's that really cute, um, what is it? A really cute alphabet die that I used on that cat layout that's called Scrappy Cat. And then here is one that I made. It's a fall layout with our new Nuts About Fall. And um, I just did this fold over technique and some more of those frames. I love these frames. You can actually make shakers out of them, but I think they really frame out a photo, photo really well. And then look at these tiny little pumpkin, clay pumpkins that I put. So cute. 
Here's a birthday layout about me. I guess I should put the date on here too. Um, this is actually using a collection called Penguin Party. And um, I thought the green matched the shirt I'm wearing really well. And I did some, I think some stamping and splattering. And then here's another one I made for Keep It Simple. And here I used the square stitched nesting die. And I just made um, just the three by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then once I figured out how long it was, then I just cut the paper to then frame it. I don't know if that makes sense, but um, that is also my son. So thank you for stopping by. If you have any questions at all, just let me know. Thank you. Bye-bye.